Fussy on there, aren't you? It's good, but it would sign up for the book. It'd be handy for a night out, wouldn't it, if you couldn't get a cab? Absolutely. Please, <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. Get me home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try that, oh, aren't I? I am, yeah. Quite a change from Hollyoaks to the bill. Yeah. I did you have to do sort of any training with real life police? Yeah, they, I did. Um, they sent me out for the day with the Met, which was really exciting. I oh. got to uh, go on a drive along and just sort of watch them in action. Which no was really car helpful. chases or anything? No, yeah. I think mm. they were really hoping there might be an opportunity to put the lights on, but it didn't happen. We'll just stop a few motorists and no, get a few tickets. It, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, did you just sit in the back of the car and watch all this yeah, going on? Yeah, I did. And whenever it was safe to get out of the car and listen into what they were doing, I did that. So, oh, yeah, it was good. It's pretty fit to do all that running around oh, Malarkey. I'm not, I wish, I, honestly, the running. Um, as you see, I've got a bit of a lollop going on there. I need to work on that. <laughs> the, um, how do you find the schedule? Because what people don't realise is it's a very tough. Sh I did six months on the bill. And oh, yeah. Bit of a shock, really, isn't it? That, that kind of it's relentless. It is. It's pretty full on. Um, I guess uh, doing the five years on Hollyoaks gave me quite good yes. training for that because that was a pretty rigorous schedule. So um, I'm, I'm, I kind of like that pace of things. But it, yeah, it was so going back to Hollyoaks, you you in Hollyoaks, I think you were in prison as a sex offender, yeah. and now you're playing a policewoman. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get more different, really. No, could no, and I'm really enjoying. But you, that. Were, you were killed at the end of Hollyoaks. Yes. And so you were out of it while that actually went out. So did you watch yourself die on telly? Very strange. Someone sent me a picture of my coffin as well oh, on my phone. Yeah. It was really bizarre. A bit mean, a isn't bit it? dark. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really like that much. So do you miss um, the glamour of Hollyoaks? Because, you know, it's very glamorous and the bill's not quite so, is it? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, the last few years on Hollyoaks, I mean, Becca was pretty downtrodden and, you know, as you were saying, she went through quite a lot. So mm. um, I have my sort of standard ponytail. My mum used to ring me and say, you look so tired and unwell. Yeah because they put my character through <laughs> so much and I wasn't allowed to wear any makeup. So actually it's quite nice, just I get a little day makeup every day, it's okay. And you get Not a nice treat. uniform to wear. Yeah, I do, my foxy uniform. Yeah, we had Louisa Litton on the show and she said she loves the uniform. I don't mind it actually. Itchy, a little itchy, oh, yeah, a little and hot. Um, it's summer. Yeah, it's not so well. good. We could do with a sort of summer alternative. But <laughs> and you've got Julian Talforth, who was in the car, I think, yeah, being yeah, um, that abducted. Was great. She there. Was, we were working together a lot in the first couple of episodes. Yes, that was really great. Yeah, Are you quite sort of a fitness thing. fanatic yourself in real life? Not you? especially. I sort of I do my best, and every now and then try and go to the gym, but right. not quite Madonna's buff kind Have of. You like muscles, muscles, do you like Madonna's? Have you got muscles? Have you got muscles? Oh, they go. Not like yours. Look at this. No. It's not very hard. It's not very hard. It's Don't no, miss your meal. <laughs> is that for drinking pints? Yeah, that's for the exercise. <laughs> Two at a time. <laughs> no, I don't think. No, I think she looked fab though in that. I'd have to say I watched the little, you know, the cutaway from that from the weekend, and mm. I thought she looked absolutely Madonna, incredible. She did. Yeah. yeah, she's older than me as well. Can you believe that? No. Yeah. Not for a minute. <laughs> Total silence there. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch any of the live birth gig? Sort of no, I didn't her? see it actually. I no. missed it. No. So their awareness campaign really worked really, for you then? Yeah, really yeah. hit home. I didn't <laughs> actually know it was happening. So and do you that's turn your lights off it? at home? I do. I'm trying. I think it's, it is important. But it's like you were saying, I think it has to be on the right... It's, that was on such a big scale. And I think if yeah. people are more aware of the little things they can do... But I don't think the concert of the weekend is going to make me put solar panels on my roof and no. that kind of thing. No. no. We like our rock stars to say sex, drugs and rock and roll, don't we? Absolutely. Don't like them worthy. No. <laughs> Change. Ali is now on the bill, being very bossy. Yes, thank apparently. you very much for joining us today. Ali Bastian, everybody. <laughs> Time for a quick break, but when we come back, he's just completed the race of his life, all in aid of saving the world. Here to explain all is the Superman that is Mr. John Colshaw. Back soon. Woo!